And we're back, guys, with episode 4 of Subnautica. Season 2, of course. Um, we already have season 1, but we've had the Seamoth update, and so we want to be able to, you know, just show people the updates here. And there are a significant amount of changes, so it's just good to look at those before, you know, you get started yourself. And this can be kind of a guide for you or a play along, and I hope that you are enjoying this. So, I do need a few more supplies, um, but the good thing is, remember guys, I have my radiation suit. I show you how to get that in the third episode, so go ahead and watch that one if you already haven't. Um, that should be really helpful to get you guys going. The radiation suit is probably one of the first things you should get, because the big ship up there does start to leak radiation and you can't do certain things. Uh oh. Ugh. Oh. He got me after I just uploaded my my aid, my first aid. There's the crash powder. Yeah, those guys are bad. Stay away. Stay away. Not good. But we're just out here enjoying ourselves. Fourth episode. Grabbing some supplies, whatever we see in the area. Some coral samples. And for now, the way I'm keeping management on the inventory I'm just you know oh this is good I'm just keeping everything together but later we'll separate things once we get more you know more items and so I'm kind of going on a little bit of a scavenger hunt scavenging for items and so these tubes guys are amazing because look you find all these rocks and you're gonna get tons of titanium you're gonna get tons of copper and so they're amazing and I need oxygen See how I'm down to 10 seconds. 10 seconds of oxygen remaining. I wasn't even told I had 30 seconds, I think. That's not cool. Why do you do that to me? Why do you want to kill me? Alright, this world's hostile, guys. I'm telling you, it's not friendly at all. Alright, so we get that. I'm just trying to collect all the little pieces here and see what we get. We get copper. Those are good. Copper is good for batteries. And batteries you're going to need when you start making the vehicles and the machines and stuff. These are good for batteries, too. You need three of these little mushrooms to make a battery. Oh. I'm just nervous with crashes. Because if they're in here, they'll, they've will they got the advantage. Not me. They do. Okay, we're pretty safe here. At least this area. Oh, you got the stalkers. Oh, no, he's coming in. Watch out. See, those guys are bad. We don't have a lot of offensive you know weapons or anything and so we want to be careful there he comes there he comes let's get him guys let's get him oh, ooh, that hurt that hurt him too so oh, just back away dude just back away you don't want to mess with us find something else to do go bother another human that's out on a planet that's not even his. Come on. A little more sympathy there. These guys don't have sympathy at all. Alright. Oh man, the water effects in this game are amazing. I love them. Oh wow, we are completely full. We just have a slot for one more thing. Hmm, what should we get? Ah, another mushroom. Why not? I love those. Cool mushrooms. Alright. We'll drop everything off. And I think we will regroup. So I believe we're going to make a little bit of bleach. Make another one? Yeah. That's good. And I have the salt, so we're good. First aid kits are really, really helpful, really important. So go ahead and make a good amount of those. I mean, some people like to make a lot of things, like make your, make your first aid kits, you know, just so you have them. That could be helpful. But it's all about what you want to do. So. so I'm just cramming everything in here. As much as I can get. There's no real order. I'll just organize things a little better later. I'm not too concerned. Right now, I just want to grab stuff and free up my inventory. And we got something fun planned for today, so I want to. Oh, we have no more power. Wow. 
See, that's what's not good, guys, when you don't have power. So, a good thing to do is you either wait for the day or you go on a little bit of a hunt. So we'll do that. We'll go into a little bit of a hunt. What I wanted to do was at least make that constructor. I don't know if we're going to have time for anything else. But with that constructor, we'll be able to make vehicles. Seamoth, we'll be able to make the Cyclops, which is a gigantic submarine. It's really cool. And so we need that in order to progress. So let me keep putting the supplies back. Put all these shrooms away. Oh, there we are full again. And there we go. Alright. You can't use your fabricator. So I'm just going to chill out here. And I will see you guys back when we can use this fabricator again. So see you in a bit. Alright guys, we are back. And I just wanted to uh, show you oh I was going to show you the sun coming up but it comes up a little quicker than you might think oh there we go that's not bad looks nice look at that look at that not worried about radiation not a care in the world other than advancing so this is how we're going to advance look at this guys I got all the titanium that I could fit into my inventory what we're going to do is make a titanium ingot now you need 10 of those so you need a lot of titanium to be able to even make a few because I want to make this constructor right here um, oh it's not called a constructor it's called a mobile vehicle bay fabricates vehicles from raw materials so we're gonna need lubricant and a power cell I do know how to make a power cell you actually need to make a battery beforehand and so you actually need two batteries and silicon rubber so I think I'm going to put all this titanium back. I'm going to need six of these mushrooms. We'll keep some titanium on us. We need copper. So we're going to grab the copper. I think there was some copper here that I got. Yeah. Okay, so I think we're good. So I'm going to make two batteries. We're, we're trying to make this mobile vehicle bay, as, as I said. So let's work up to that. First, we got to make two batteries. So one bit. Wait. Yeah, okay, battery. Another battery. Power cell, we need silicon rubber. So I think, yeah, we need a bit of quartz, right? Okay, so we got enough of that. And we'll make now the silicon rubber. I think that was two pieces. Yeah, I'm just going to make two. Oh, what? How is this unpowered? That solar panel is not really helping us much. The sun is up. Wake up, solar panel. Come on. Sorry about that. Jeez. Alright. Why do I not have any more sil- Oh, yeah. How did I run out of silicon? Uh, quartz, I mean. I had quartz. Unless it absorbed my material. That was weird. Because I swear I had four. So, I don't know. Anyway. Alright. I don't know what's happening to the- See, I don't know what's happening. This is weird. I mean, obviously the power is being drained. I understand that. But I don't know why, because the sun is out. Maybe because this isn't facing the sun. We might have to do a, another cell facing the other way. Let's just get two pieces of quartz. Do we have two pieces of quartz? We'll get one more and make another solar panel. What can we do, right? See, there's always something to do in this game guys I'm telling you it's not as easy as you think alright we'll put that there now we should have no problems because we should be getting double the juice now right yeah 23 out of okay so hopefully our power doesn't run down like it was doing okay so we got that let's let's keep looking we need lubricant and a power cell I thought we just made the power cell Okay, well, let's make it. I don't think we did. Okay. And lubricant. Lubricant, we need to go back to that kelp forest. Where is it? Oh, wait. What? Where are you? Because I don't... I'm confused now. Well, 
I'll just go over there and see what's up because so I'm confused so before guys you used to be able to make lubricant you would go to the kelp forest and then what you would do you would just grab uh, there are these yellow orangey things that glow they're in the middle of the kelp as at the vines you know that you see out there and so you grab that and you were able to make lubricant now the problem is I don't see it on the list so we'll have to figure out what to do there hmm. but don't worry we would figure it out do not worry but as we explore the ocean we can grab more materials and become the king of Subnautica that was that was I mean an important little commentary that I had to I had to make with an accent I don't know what type of accent I really have no idea um, it was a spur of the moment but it was very inspirational guys very inspirational I know I could feel it myself I was inspiring myself as I was doing that okay enough of that so I have about 30 seconds of oxygen so I'm gonna go up breathe and try to find that kelp forest it's always always elusive you get turned around pretty quickly in this game believe me everything kinda looks similar and so it can be a pain in the butt but that's part of the fun right because I mean you could have beacons everywhere and then you know you could find stuff but then where is the fun in not finding stuff there we go there's our kelp forest so you will see what I'm talking about when I talk about these little thingies and I can't find any now what? there they are oh my gosh I was scared I was like did they take them out of the game alright so apparently there's not a lot of them around anymore they they used to be around almost every vine and so think oh no we just click okay you don't need the knife I'm just left clicking that's how you used to grab them but I'm like maybe that changed you know and so there we go see high oil content and so I might want to grab oh yeah there's a lot more not a problem so we'll grab them and I think that's all we need to make our little mobile constructor bay thing it's called something else now game is in alpha guys so it's something to notice they do change things when the game is in alpha early development and so we have to be patient we have to understand that and I'm okay with it I'm not gonna lie it's frustrating sometimes to restart the world but what you're gonna do right it's part of the part of the agreement because in my eyes they're adding new content and so I'm happy with that why should I complain? I mean, it just makes the game more exciting because you got to start all over. And so, that's fun. Salt. And sea moth fragment. I think I've gotten a lot of those already. So I'll just throw it out somewhere. Heading back to base. Base should be over there. Perfect and then we can make our little constructor I forget the name of it because now they changed the name why do they do that on us? well it's part of the game I guess it's part of the aim of playing video games alright let's get back over here and see if we need anything else because from what I saw we have everything but we'll see Alright, so I think, yeah, lubricant. I knew it was there. So we need two of these little things to make a lubricant. So we'll make, we'll make a few of those. And then I think, there we go. We've got it. And I'll show you guys what this looks like. It's really fun if you haven't seen it. If you have seen it, come and, whoa, come and join me. Alright, release it. So you just release it by right clicking. I'll release it right up here or not there we go Re left clicking I'm just, wait right clicking yes correct 
So here we go. So you click on there, you get on top of the vehicle bay. And see, there is a Cyclops. There it is. But I need all that stuff to make it, so it's not easy. So I have to wait. I have to wait, guys. But that helps me build things. And so the next thing you might think about building is that analyzer. And so let's see. If we make a wiring kit and a computer chip, that might be good. We have a little bit of time. I don't know if we'll get to all of it, but we'll, we'll start now. So I think we'll be good. A wiring kit, you need two silver ore. Ooh. Do I have that much silver? Silver, silver. I don't have any silver with me right now. Boom, boom, boom. I should have put these all in one thing. Oh, well. Get the Seamoth thing in there. Alright, so I think we're missing the silver, guys. Yeah, we are. The elusive silver pieces. So, we'll probably do that in the next episode. So, we're going to... Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. We're going to build uh, a fragment analyzer in the next episode, and we'll get to moving. I'll end this video a little early. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, a, a like would really help me out. I, I do appreciate all of you watchers, all of you subscribers. I want to leave you with a beautiful view of our new creation here with our pod, which we abandoned, and our big ship, which hopefully we'll get back on. I'll see you guys really soon, and talk to you later. Bye.